As always, back every Friday with the fastest three minutes in sneaker news. So let's get the three minutes started, which makes it like three minutes and 10 seconds every time I do this introduction. But there's a lot of really important stuff going on this week that a lot of you guys said, if you're just looking at sneaker releases and you're just looking at the website trying to see what the not hot new shoe is, you're missing out on, especially if you're looking forward to becoming a part of the sneaker industry as more than just a consumer. So there were pretty big things that took place this week. Um, here are the top stories from the website. And when I talk about them up here or above my head right here, there'll be a link that pops up. Now, if you're looking at this and you're not on a phone or on a computer, you won't see the little link that pops up. You'll have to go to the description and look at the links there. Now, that was the introduction. Here we go. Biggest stories of the week that I wrote about on the website that you probably missed out on. Uh, the first one is Nike and their Just Do It training lab. Now, during Investors Week or Investors Day last year in October, Nike stated that they were going to implement their Nike app into brick and mortar locations. What I never expected was for them to create their own fitness gyms. Now, this isn't set in stone, but what I'm predicting is that Nike is going to potentially be able to grow revenue by launching their own gyms. Now, if those gyms also come with fitness apparel and footwear where you can be tested and fit and try out different stuff, it could be a major blow to a company like Reebok that really screwed up with CrossFit last week. They're being sued by CrossFit. Look that up down here, up here. All right. Now, next big topic of the week is something for you guys that are reselling. You better pay very close attention. The link is right here. And you need to go down and read it because it's a lot more detailed than I can get into in about 20 or 30 seconds. The Supreme Court ruled that all sneaker sales or all things in resale, all things online that are sale are going to be taxed according to each state. That means you're going to have to know every tax code for every state. It's I honestly think that this is going to actually kill off a lot of small businesses. It's a really important thing to look at. Link is down here. All right. Now, the biggest story of the week was Puma and their resurging or re-entrance into the NBA by signing a bunch of players. And then this is the shoe that Rudy Gay was working out in in a video this week. So they signed Rudy Gay. They got three different number one I'm not uh, first round draft picks. They got Jay-Z. But, you know, this is the shoe that they're rolling with. What do you think? Um, here's the link. Go read the article down here, too. All right. Um, now, Puma did it one way. Adidas did it a different way. And Adidas did it in a more effective way. And they did it with two players that I think are much better than the players that Puma signed, except for Zyra Smith. Zyra Smith is going to be dope. But that article is right here. It's down here as well. Now, the final thing that I think is the most important, and that is time. And I'm happy to end it on this one. As the other brands are celebrating giving new millionaires more money, Jordan Brand gave 26 incoming freshmen scholarships to the schools of their choice. They could literally pick wherever they wanted to go. And Jordan Brand, Jordan Wings program is paying for it. So I'm going to end it on that just so you can watch a little bit of this video. It's just an amazing thing by Jordan Brand. You got to appreciate that. That's it for this episode. Kiss. Congratulations. <laughs> Chills, man. You gotta love it. Peace, y'all.